welcome to my depression. <laughs> I mean, the only person that can really help me snap out of this is my next guest, Patricia Moreno. She is the woman who developed the most amazing mind, body, and spirit workout movement called Intensati. I have to tell you, I am ready for a workout. Hey, Patricia, how you doing? Hi, Abe. I'm so happy to be here. I mean, can you believe it? Can you believe it? In your bed? I know, it's right? It's great. Tell me about Intensati. Tell me and our lovely viewers about Intensati, most importantly. Sati means mindfulness, and intent means intention. So I'm asking people to really develop a new awareness of themselves and practice being able to change the vision of how they see themselves in their lives and then really take action. It's as though you personally have gone to the mountaintop and brought it back down and applied that into a workout. Yeah. So just tell me a little about where you where did that when when did that connection start for you to bring those two together? I think it started, and it's kind of like such a typical story of hitting rock bottom mm -hmm. and then wondering, where do I go from here? And there's only one way. And I was bulimic for a lot of years. And even though in the fitness industry, I kind of had this like fraud mentality. Here I am preaching about fitness. And on the other side, I am not only miserable, but I'm not really the picture of health that I'm first trained myself to be. And I was so depressed, I was so depressed that at that point I was like, there has got to be another way. And that's really when my search to what is the way started to happen. What I love about the class is it really gets people to get themselves to take the actions they wanna take. And that is not an easy thing to do, whether it's losing weight, you know, cutting out the carbs. Everybody knows what to do to lose weight, but who can get themselves to do it right. and to get through that discomfort and do it anyway? Or who can get themselves to go out and go on another date and another date and another date and just keep the positive expectation that one day it is going to work out? That takes spiritual muscle and that takes practice every day. And that's what I'm seeing people are doing. They're doing. They're doing doing what they want to be doing. Right. That's amazing. I happen to have my bedside reading material here. <gasps> it's a book by Patricia Moran. It's my book. So, yeah, why don't you tell me a little about the book? If you were to take it and go through it, it would take you through a whole class, chapter by chapter. So what you're learning in here is the vocabulary. I created a whole vocabulary of movements, and every move, as you know, has an action, then it has an affirmation, and then it has an attitude. So you're working your mind, you're working your spirit, and you're working your body all at the same time. And then I take you what I think are the seven principles to thinner peace, and that really is kind of like what we're talking about, about losing the weight. When you're not just, when you're just dieting, there's a difference than when you're really re- fashioning yourself yes. from the inside out about who you want to be as a person the way that you live. And when you do achieve that, that's when the thinner peace happens. Because it's not just about the weight, it's about the mentality and how you see yourself. My younger years were all about, if I'm not thin, I'm nothing. And if I'm fat, I, you know, I'm not even important. There's no value to me. <laughs> And, and then you really, I mean, that's what caused so much drama in my life. And then as I grow up, I'm like, oh, I'm a human being. I'm not just the size of jeans that I wear. Right. There's more to me than that. And I think it's that letting go of just that perspective of just being thin and that's all that matters. Right. And then working on yourself on all levels is where the thinner piece comes from. Who is your greatest inspiration? Who is your biggest icon, let's say? You know, I love the Buddhist teachings because they're so simple and they really keep coming back to not they keep having you come back to a really simple question of who are you and then just the simplicity of love the main teaching everywhere in the truth is love so when you follow that and that's why I used to think as long as I'm teaching about love how can that be wrong this is not a religion, but it's really that message. And all the great teachers teach that message. There isn't one that doesn't. While we were on break, our director, David, asked, yeah, I would just like to know what time it starts. So, <laughs> I mean, far be it from us to plug anything, but... That's <laughs> plug away. No, I mean, it's, it, they're, they're available at Equinox. Classes are available at Equinox in New York City. There's 10 locations that we're in. And then I have teachers who teach it as well as me. But it's also all over. I actually have it in L.A. and 
Boston and Philadelphia and all the way to Israel and Denmark. If you can't do it, get to a class in New York, you can look on the website and there's the whole schedule all over the country. Right. And then you can buy the book and do it at home or you can buy the DVD. There's two workouts on tape that you can buy at satilife.com. So what is your prized possession? One thing that you have that is... I don't have anything like that. Really? Yeah. I, you know, I really am the opposite. I really don't. Yeah. What's yours? This one? <laughs> this is what's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say my wife, but my wife is not a possession. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I just want to thank you. It's been great having you here. I, I love, love it. I love you. You're the best. Uh, we'll see you soon. Enjoy your day. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs>